A Jamaican politicians are under investigation for illicit enrichment. These politicians take every opportunity to mislead Jamaicans and steal from the public purse, collecting large sums of money to push outside ideologies on our youths acting as if it's a choice when in fact it's the true meaning of neo-colonization. If you plan to teach shakiness in the schools, then you have to teach straightness to the kids them that don't know anything then you have to teach straightness as well then it will become a choice however this person on the screen is charlton mcfarlane prior ceo of the registrar general department this man pled guilty to charges of failure to comply with the integrity commission and i think you will be very interested in what he has to say what are the core uh, services, um, and perhaps services is not what I want to say, the core functions of the RGD. Why does the RGD exist? Uh, the RGD exists to keep our vital records safe, right? Um, the vital records really is, by definition, your birth, your marriage, your death, stillbirths, adoptions, right? right? Um, we are working with the Supreme Court to see how we manage the divorce records as well. But this process has now gotten a significant kickstart, mm -hmm. again, through the National Ident Identification Systems Project. The National Identification System is designed to increase the level of transactions take place. And you, you know when an economy is booming when it is growing you can just measure transactions just the number of transactions that are taking place what we're trying to do as a government one is to un is to create this system make it very strong and robust and integrous that it can stand up to intense usage uh, there is a whole heap of technology behind the scenes you can get in contact with the servers to verify identity that information can be exchanged. All of that is happening in the background. The public may not be, be aware of it. No, the Prime Minister said that he would not move to a cashless system. Speaking at the Inter-American Development Bank's Digital Transformation Forum in St. Andrew today. There is no attempt by the government to remove cash, meaning paper money, from the system. But yet still, he is endorsing the cashless system and encouraging banks to do so as well. Mr. Holness says the MOU will bring significant benefits to the Jamaican people, including reduced bank charges and using only one form of identification when doing transactions or opening accounts. Mr. Holness says that operating digitally reduces the cost of operations. He urged the banking sector to pass on those savings. Ensure that the promise of digitization does result in a reduced banking cost to the average citizen. We are doing our part with providing the needs to reduce your cost of verification of identity. Give some reflection of that. The online application tracking system, once an application is generated, a tracking number is generated with it, and that tracking number follows the application process mm -hmm. through from, from stage beginning to stage end. How did this assist in the working environment inside the RGD? The, 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 the analytics that it generated for us also assisted us in becoming much more efficient at what we do. Just about a month ago, or thereabouts, the Prime Minister would have signed a massive um, deal to digitise on a large scale our records. Another um, innovation that, that we would have had is to commence the digitization of our records. Right, right. right? No, no, this is, is, is a major one. So in 2014, we started with 12 computers in a small room yes. where we began the process of scanning and indexing our paper records, right. right? And so far, we are now at about 35% of our records being which is, digitized. Which is not surprising considering a hundred and... Exactly. Well, yes. we, we have upwards of 7 million records, you know. It's data at the fingertips. Absolutely. Remember to like and subscribe because this is just about to get crazy. My job at the RGD is to provide an... is, is to create an agency. Rather, 
that your customers could apply for their birth certificate, their marriage and death certificate, those standards. What are the core uh, services? Um, and perhaps services is not what I want to say, the core functions of the RGD. Why does the RGD exist? Um, birth registrations, death registrations, marriage registrations. Right. We also do stillbirth registrations and adoption registrations. Oh. Right? Um, and that's centered in the general register office. Mm -hmm. There is another component of the RGD, um, a lesser known component, which right, is the right. Island Records Office that deals with recording of wills and deeds. Deed. deed. A deed is a signed legal document that transfers ownership of an asset to a new owner. There is a piece of land over there in St. Thomas and, you know, Melissa grandparent them did lose a piece of land. Now Melissa come and Melissa they fight for the piece of land and all of a sudden, when she get, when she get through with the land, allegedly people, she just lose her three points just like that. And then people, what happened is that the owner of the land now is now Mrs. Bramley, Bramwell. How coincident is it? We have the CEO of the RGD getting arrested. The same people that we deal with the wills and the deed. While we have Julia name popping up and other people property. Could this be connected? The, 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 one of the, the issues with the black and white certificate was that it was just a piece of paper that was written on in pen. By hand. By hand, yes. right? And um, as such, persons could go and you know you, you adjust and you change an A to an O, you change a U to an E, and, and, and suddenly um, Hubert becomes Herbert. Mm. You know what I mean? Less right. resilient too. I'm getting to understand from a good source, yes, that the body of Melissa Silveira, when it left the house, is a total different way the body was found at the morgue. Yes? And you might be wondering why I'm showing this beautiful picture on the screen. This is the property of the Kobe properties over there in St. Thomas. And I'm getting to understand that this property, Kobe property, Yes, was originally owned by the grandparents of Melissa Silveira. However, Melissa Silveira's grandparents lost these properties in the 90s due to the Finsac debacle. Yes, however, the granddaughter, Melissa Silveira, was going through the process of acquiring these properties. Yes. Upon submitting paperwork for receiving these properties belong to her grandparents, that was when she met her untimely death. Now, this is where the story is a bit tricky. Because we are getting to understand that these Kobe properties now owned by Mrs. Bramwell. Let me tell you something, Jamaica. We have some interesting developments taking place in this case, you know. But fly high, fly low, we're going to get to the bottom of why they got rid of Melissa Silveira. Miss Bramwell is now the new owner of those property. And when I said Miss Bramwell, we are talking about the wife of the Prime Minister. Mr. Bramwell, Mr. Andrew Bramwell, we're talking about the wife of the Prime Minister, Mrs. Bramwell, Mr. Andrew Bramwell. So people, we are wondering, how coincident is it that Melissa Silveira passed away because of some illness and then you she get shot. Remember people say them say the husband allegedly took her life because of a piece of land but now we are hearing that the piece of land miss bramwell who won it thinking of the description to join the channel membership on the cost two dollars and join us over there for exclusive more in detailed content also if you're in a sticky situation and you need a liar call the number on the screen and don't make nobody tell you about oh you can't afford liar oh yo you know much liar cost call the number on the screen Ask you Anake, don't wait till it's too late. Call Scott James Law. Get one of the best defense attorneys on your side. And also remember, don't believe no what I'm saying in this video. This video 
is all for entertainment purposes.